Good evening and welcome back to Astro Colony where I have plugged in the polymer and the carbon fiber to our main system so that you can feed more things uh, because I managed to get enough stuff to build some more pipes because obviously we have almost 850 uh, graphene so not so bad not so bad so i built that there i've also connected the motherboards up as well and that started doing its thing and going so we're getting a bit more science in now uh we're still struggling a little bit i really want this science to be running all the time and it's not and i'm not sure why why are you not running what's wrong with you carbon and oxygen you got no carbon you got one carbon in you what's wrong with the carbon let's have a quick look see here your carbon oh ah there's carbon is it that oh, is carbon struggling it might be because uh, there's something else that i've messed up on the carbon here actually might be a bit late to fix it but uh yeah we're getting one every um one every eight coming in one one every 14 seconds sorry coming in and we need whoa bonk. um four every 28 seconds so eight every 28 seconds um 28 divided by eight uh we need one every 3.5 seconds we have two of them running um and we're getting one every 14 seconds is that right yeah yeah um so you want every 3.5 seconds so uh 14 uh, uh divided by uh, 3.5 sorry no 14 times 3.5 um oh, hold on uh we need four of them we need four of them to keep up with this here um i am tempted to do that because carl it's really slow and that's that's the science uh, not the science that we desperately need but it's the uh the one that's lower actually it's um high tech isn't it that we need the most of lots of things so let's let's do this one oh, there you go so start at the top and work down we need to do all of, well we don't need expert engines but we need to do these three to get the stargate so let's start at the bottom work our way up shall we so we'll do that one done do bots upgrader done expert construction is the one we're working on now that requires chemistry okay so we need 5,000 engineering we have and a thousand chemistry and we have 686 so chemistry this also wants 400 chemistry and this one wants 300 high tech so we need high tech and chemistry so carbon's not all that important we'll leave the carbon we need high tech and chemistry what's wrong with high tech and chemistry uh, chemistry requires iron rods and dirt. Dirt should be fine. Iron rods should be coming in. And high tech requires motherboards, which uh, we've only just started feeding, so that's that's why it's got a problem there. So. And this is not running at any decent speed anyway, because all of these, basically they send it all down the pipe, and then when they run out to zero, they go off again. So, But that's what we need to do. We need to adjust the... Um, the outputs of these so we need to go hey uh if you don't have this many that we need then turn on but the problem with that is that i need to check how much this one needs then go out to wherever it's done then come back and check the next one then go out then come back to the next one and it, and i just i'm just gonna leave it on one and let it go it's, it's not running super fast but that's okay it is running it is running yeah i think we'll we'll leave it as it is for now uh this is not getting anything in it because nothing's coming down the pipe that we shouldn't do that is good that is good um food is perfectly fine yep food is perfectly fine uh this is definitely the biggest they can reach two three four five away from their back maybe six if you well you couldn't put it because the um bus there if we turned it around slightly if we re-angled it we might be able to get six along but um yeah it seems to be Five. you're helping this this side every now and then so yeah because you're technically spawning from that point there and going to everyone to go to so well they're spawning next to it because that's occupied so they're spawning there and then checking out all this so it is working it's just slow this is the same as well this only goes five deep one two three four five doesn't go any further and the trees 
I should upgrade the trees. I had to upgrade the trees. Polymer was... These numbers do not add up. These numbers do not add up. Um, and I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. So if you look here, uh, you've got trees new, you've got us. So you're, you're actually all now full and you're running all the time. So that's that's good. So you're going to start filling up and turn these off. So that's fine. When I had the three, we should have kept up fine. It wasn't. This was constantly starving for stuff. It wasn't running fast enough at all. I was trying to figure out what's going on with it. Why is that? Look at numbers. You know, trees take 40, 40, and 40 seconds to grow. I was not counting the travel time of the bots from here to here and back in, which is significant. So one, two, three, four, four seconds to get there. What does that? And then a couple of seconds to get back. And then it waits a few seconds and then does it again. And it can take it can take sort of six seconds to get to one of the corner ones. So so there's an extra on average 10 seconds between each one. Some are a bit longer, some are a bit shorter. So it's actually like 50 seconds of growth phase. So I figured out we needed 4.1. So um, I decided, do you know what? I'm just going to double it. I just copied this and pasted it there. There you go. That works. But um, And then if we ever need any trees, we can come and get words. I don't know why we ever need logs, but we could come and get logs. So that would be fine. But, and this is doing this thing here. We get enough inside it. Oh, there you go. It turns off those. Away it goes. Everything is awesome and happy, and it creates enough And this is running all the time now, 24 hours. Running every time. 16 seconds. It takes every 16 seconds we get a new polymer, which is nice. Which is nice. So then we can send that off to the science and get stuff going there. So that's fine. Uh, this is working. Um, I have adjusted some of these things. I might have done this on camera. I can't remember. I, I moved all the numbers up by one. So this requires um, two and four. And I think I put all these up to double plus one. So, oh no, three, uh, two, no, okay. Hmm. Okay, don't know what I've done there. Oh, maybe I did this one double plus one and then was going to do this one here, but then didn't because this is okay. So, I think that's because I want these running a lot more because the carbon is struggling. So, we need to get ourselves better belts because the belts are the problem now. The belts are struggling for carbon. We aren't getting enough carbon in because the belts are too slow. So, we need to speed that up. We need to speed that. We need to just, I want to just speed up the main belt here, not the offshoot belts, and then see if that works. It, I think we will need to speed up these offshoot belts as well. So I think every belt's going to need upgrading, which is a lot of belts, which is a lot of belts. Um, and uh, to get the upgrades to the Mark three belts, we require um, loads of plates, which we have loads of, loads of copper wire, which we don't have that much of. We got 1500, but that's that's only it's only 1500 belts, and we got way more belts than that. Uh, titanium rods, we got loads of because um, I think we had loads already, and then mercury rods, which we don't have any of, but we've only got 2000 mercury, so that's a bit of a problem. Um, so what I'm going to do first and foremost is I'm going to come all the way down here to this one here, and I'm going to change this guy to be 10,000. There we go. Start working. Okay, carry on, carry on producing um, copper wire for us because we, we want we want more copper wire stored. The reason we have fifteen hundred is because there's loads in here. I think, uh, yeah, yeah there's loads in this one here. So loads of stuff in here just randomly. Um, I should really take that. Well, we're going to take that because I'm going to pick this up now. So um, let's uh, let's pick you up. Power line. Delete. Oh, I fill my inventory full of stuff. That's cool. Uh, there is loads of copper. There is titanium, cobalt. So that's fine. Uh, I also want to build more of these guys here. I can't remember how many I want to build though. I can't remember what it was. Also, I can't remember what I did with the power system here. Three hundred and fifty. This one. Three hundred fifty. So it's the same. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. And I can't put that down because for some bizarre reason, you you have to put them on a floor, which is odd, but yeah. Um, give me a wall. Give me a random floor. Because okay. this is going to be our template. It's to be perfect. 
Boom. Okay. And then what we want to do is we want to put in um, more of these guys. But I need a way for these guys to feed the belt. So I think the angle they're set at is wrong. I need to turn them around by 90 degrees. So let's uh, see what we'll do. We'll build it over here instead. Um, but I'm going to undock this because I don't want the uh, drones coming over as we're building things. We'll undock it so that no drones can get to here. Plus, um, we're going to move it. We're going to move it. Yes. Yes, we are. Okay, so let's grab that. Um, let's see here. So rather than have it face that way, what if we had it face like this way? We're going to want to make sure our pipe is spare as well. We don't want to fill the pipe up. Um, we could also fill the center line up rather than, rather than the edge one. We could fill up the, like a center one. So if we did... I'm not going to power it from that plug there, so I could I could do this. This would work. That wouldn't, because we'd have to go right up against the edge of that one, then, wouldn't we? Okay, okay. I see what we'll do. We'll go out one more. Do. Right, one more. We'll do. One, two, and I can't get a third one in. These things are huge. <laughs> Way bigger than I expected. So what if we did do a facing like this way and then had it's just so okay so the belt's gonna be here if we did the belt there right okay, so what if we just did that so I don't know how many actually want to get into this really not sure what if we move that away by one one, two, three. Well, that's four deep anyway there, so that's um that's bigger than what we've got. Nah. Let me let me have a let me have a I'm I'm being very indecisive so I'm gonna stop recording because otherwise we'll be here forever and let me let me let me let me figure this out. Okay, done, 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 done. This this is the uh, blueprint that I've made that we're gonna go with. It has 25 miners. It's got enough power to run 25 miners. It is uh, five by six. Technically, the M1s aren't really needed, but it's um. It's, 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 yeah. And then we can mine away, and that's uh, 75 miners, because there are three miners each, and there's uh, 25 miners. So, yeah. Cool. So we can strip planets cleaner, quicker, which is fine. We'll probably have to make some more miners to, to keep up with that. So, this also has gas in it, which we want to harvest. We need the gas. The gas is important. I have made a blueprint of this, so this is all done. I was trying to save up loads of uh, graphene so that we could... Uh, Pipe the stuff in here, it comes out here, and then it goes all the way down. And just, I was going to store the stuff down here, and then, do, and it's been pointed out to me in the comments. Draven, thank you once again. 
Um, so I don't need to do that. What I could do instead is take the planet and uh, move it. Why build a, a long pipeline when you can just move the planet? Yeah, because that game lets you do this. So we'll take this and we'll take it down there and uh, we'll plug it in down this end when we figure out exactly where it needs to go. Because there's a couple of things. Um, first one is that obviously I would have to extend this down there and run belts down because when we plug a planet in here, we might want to mine it as well. That's not a problem. Belts are easy, but belts are cheap. Belts are fine. I don't mind doing it with belts. That's not a problem. Okay. How much wide? We, well, just one? I think it's just one wide. Oop. Done again. Done again. Right, there we are. Another layer of... Uh, there we go. It's too wide. Oh, I thought it was. Okay. Um, but I didn't think it was. I thought it was one wide. I'm going to get 13 of them in because uh, obviously they are five wide. So I'm, try I'm trying to look at the number at the bottom. So I'm like, oh, it goes up to 60. No, it doesn't. It goes up to 13. Well, hey now, hey now. Right, okay. So what we can do is we can grab ourselves a docking port and we can shoot down here with it and we can put the docking port here somewhere. Doesn't really matter where. Um, snap the docking port. Uh, there. Oh. And then the stuff can come in, the gas can come in and go straight to wherever it needs to go to, which would be fine. And then we just, once we've used that planet up, we can undock it, move it somewhere else and dock it again. Um, if we still need to mine it, or we can just send it on its merry way and it can go away. So, yeah. Yeah, that makes more sense. That makes so much more sense. So much more sense. The question is, what is the next thing on our list we need to do? So, we have got graphene. So, the next one is going to be titanium glass, which requires the gas. So, um, if we're going to do that, I suppose we want to be doing the gas. Now, the gas... Um, we wouldn't do gas storage like here somewhere. So we're going to have a storage halfway up the container between gas. And then from there, the all the gas ones will move up. Yeah, there's no point in putting it in the middle and moving it and, and feeding it left and right. Because that's exactly the same amount of pipes as if you put it on the end and feed it along. It's the same distance. It doesn't matter. We're not. We, you don't have to worry about transport when it comes to pipes. Uh, it's kind of instantaneous. The water up here instantaneously gets drained from the tanks down there. So if we put an area here full of tanks for water... So like we did the tanks here, where these would be, because this is our storage. So we're going to store. Yeah, that makes sense. So let's start here and let's have a look. See, so we want to go to um, utilities. Yeah, um, gas rigs, so pipes. Now this, these require uranium rods. We have 8,000 uranium rods. Not bad, not bad. These are also small. They don't have a rotation also rather small so um uh how do i want to do this let's um let they cut that they're two by two which is a little awkward if i'm honest with you do we want to do like two rows with a whole line no don't need to do two rows with a line in the middle uh we could do start there start there this and then just tank and tank and tank how many is that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen let's go 15 oh there you go so there's 30 tanks okay and each tank stores uh Hundred. Ooh. Ooh. Right. Okay. Um. Right. Let's bring this over, which is going to be fairly easy to do. I'm going to use smaller engines for it. We're not going to use the big engines because that's just. Although we have just unlocked the uh, mighty engine, the magneto plasma thruster, which requires hydrogen. Enriched hydrogen. Ooh. We're going to use standard electric thruster, uh, and I'm going to put it. Um, Away you go. We attach myself to this 
Crit. There we go. I'm gonna have a hit. Going through. Now, when I plug this in, this is going to start running um, for grabbing all the things here. Uh, what do we have on here that we really want to mine? Cobalt? Anything but all of it, really. But um, I think we want to start with Cobalt. Let's start with Cobalt. Well, copy. Paste. Oh, so all of them have got Cobalt, so. <laughs> to think we use these little engines to actually move our entire station before look how slow i mean it's only one engine i know but um uh, and i'm also impressed that it's at this end of this thing and we're not spinning around thank god there's no actual orbital dynamics in this game um it's not like herbal space program which i've really had the itch to start playing again not ksp2 i don't own ksp2 i'm never buying ksp2 um but but I think a couple space program I'm like mm, want to play it again. Uh okay, so stop. That'll do. That'll do. Okay. So we plug it in here and then we stuff it. So I'm not gonna plug it in here. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna pick this. We're gonna come down to line up with that there. So I'm gonna go Well I put the docking ports in the center of a block, if that makes sense. Um like the center of one of the floor pieces, just just because it looks good it looks the part simple as that so uh, and then we run a gas pipe out of here and a gas pipe down to there there we go and that is connected to these now okay so we are we have a network which stores fifteen thousand. one of these gas veins from the one here uh has six thousand it says in the top right corner six thousand so this one's got six thousand so two of them will Almost fill it up, and this has got one, two, three, 16, 17 on it. What's how many has it got? Uh, it's got 12 of them. So if they're all six and a half thousand, there's four thousand there, that's four thousand there, that's four thousand there. Okay, so not quite. But if they were all six thousand, because some of them are over six thousand, some of them are under six thousand, so let's, let's go six, six thousand times twelve, um, is seventy two thousand. We can store 15,000, so too much, too much. And I'm, I'm concerned that, I don't know, I don't know, but I'm concerned that it will pump the gas and when there's nowhere for the gas to go, it will just waste it. I'm worried about that because the same with water, the ice breakers continue to break ice even if there's uh, no space for the water to go and it just gets lost. Not so bad because the ice is an infinite resource, because we can just gather it from there. This is an infinite resource too, we can find infinite planets in the in the universe. There are three black holes within visual range. One right there, one there, and one there. That's impressive. Um, but what I'm worried about is um, we might take ages to find one. Um, and then bring it back again. So uh, um, I don't want to waste the gas if I can. I could manually turn it on and off as someone's gone there, but I like automation. I like figuring out automation, so... Okay, so we'll do that. And then what we'll do with the pipes is I'll probably run the pipes uh, up and under here and then plug them in as and when they need to. So let's, let's do that as well. Like this. We'll run a pipe in. Oh, pipes can go longer than the other ones. So run a pipe into like there somewhere. And then we plug, I guess. Now, the other thing that I had not planned, um, let's put a gas rig down. Uh, it's gonna have to go there. Yep, and then this other one's gonna have to go like that way or something. Um, oh, these consume 80 electricity. I had not planned on that. We do not have enough power to run them all because this is balanced for the miners so let's um modify our system here um No, hold on, hold on, what am I doing? 
doesn't matter. I'm going to delete the roof anyway. Um, I don't know what, quite what I'm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I was doing there. I'm, I'm going to delete the roof anyway, so I don't know why I was worried about that. So, uh, close the roof. This is my new blueprint. I've got a uh, new blueprint, new blueprint, overbalanced so That's what I want. Boom. Come up. And the center, which is uh, there. And then we just highlight the floor and get rid of the floor. Boom. There you go. Okay. And connect the power strips up. This, I need to redo one, but I'm just going to do them all because, well, actually, no, I'm not going to do them all. We literally need to do one. So let's do this one, run this one out because this is the same. Uh... Oh, there you go. Okay, so now what's the power like? Let's see here. We are 700 pounds, so we've got 200 pounds spare. So you do 80, so we can put four of these down, eight. Uh, 8, 16, 24. No, 200 power. We can put 8, 16. We can put two of them down. Maybe three of them down. I need to extend the power even further. Wow. Underestimated that. Um, yeah. And they take 20 seconds ago to get 10 gas. As, okay. So 20 seconds. So that's, that's one gas every two seconds. It's not so bad. So bad. Let's put a second one down. Um, suppose that doesn't really matter which way I put it to be honest with you um it's a shame you can't flip buildings in this game really it's a shame we can't flip buildings uh so let's do this and uh I'm gonna test it we'll test it with just one um see where the uh, oh. Okay, but dum there we go, right. Power, let's go up. Can't go up with the power. Oh. Okay, plug that in. Right, you're gonna start pumping. You have nothing stored on the network. So what I want to test is do you just pump away and then waste it? Um yeah, let's find out. You took one out. Yes, yes, you do. Okay, so you just waste it. Right, okay. So if there's no storage, they just completely waste it. Okay. Okay, it just goes. So it is the same. It is the same. So we always need to make sure we never overfill our storages. It's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. I just need to pay attention to it. So, um, potentially, we need enough storage to make sure we can empty the entire planet which isn't going to be difficult i don't know if you can stack these can you stack these guys um oh, well, uh, so we've currently got 1500 if i put one no i can't put one on top i could put more in here because we don't use the ride pipes out i could put more behind as well although we do want to make sure we leave space for the uh, belt which goes in the middle of this guy here I could stack them vertically by doing some roof things and then just running a pipe up onto them. That isn't difficult. Um, right, so we said 72,000, right? So we need to triple this. I can't go that way very far because we have we have belts that come down here. There may be belts, I don't know. Um, to be honest with you, I'm looking at this here and I'm like, where, where? Where are all the stuff being used? I mean, mercury and stuff's got to come down. Um, but this is nowhere near as dense a belt system, even though it's only just re re raw, raw resources, but not re raw sources. Um, yeah. I'm going to go longer as well, because obviously um, the first actual build we're going to have is going to be kind of like here somewhere. So that's why I stopped here. Uh, right. Okay. Okay, so uh, you're not connected. Why are you not connected? Go dock. You're connected. Why are you not connected? Do you have to come out by one or something? Bump. 
Hmm. Hmm. No. No, 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 no. No, hang on. Hang on. Is that only water? Is that not gas? Wait. No, because it connects this side. What? Oh, does it connect this side? Oh, it might not connect this side. Hold on. No, it doesn't connect. <sighs> ah, that's not, that's only water. So how do we get gas out of it? How do we get gas off of the planet? Somebody tell me how we get gas off the planet. We'll come in next episode if I can figure it out. Yeah, because... Yeah, I need to get gas off this planet. I'm not building all my resources on this planet. I need to get gas off the planet. We need to transfer gas between the two. Um, uh, herpa derp. I know what it is. Uh, need an expert docking station. I bet you we need an expert docking station. Digitally transfers gas. Yes, it says there. That's why I'm an idiot. You've all been chatting to me in the comments. I know, I know, I know. So we need, we need to get, okay. 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 That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm using the wrong docking port. That's okay. Anyway, we are going to come back next episode and uh, we will figure this out because I need, I need to um, I need to change some things up anyway because this is incorrect. Yeah. Okay. But we'll still be getting some cobalt coming in and uh, we will come back next time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one. Hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always... Have fun. Oh.